welcome to today's reading. Today we're trying out something new. Uh, so you guys have to let me know if you want more of this, but we're going to look at your week ahead. So we're going to see what to expect, what message of spirit has for your upcoming week. I'm setting the intention that this is seven days from when you are watching this. If you guys do like this type of reading, I will um, put them out every Sunday. So yeah, let me know. And before we get started, my email is down in the description if anyone is interested in a private reading. Thank you all so much for being here. I am truly so grateful for each and every one of you. So uh, to assist in the reading, let's call in our angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest vibrational frequency. Uh, thanking them for being here. And again, thank you. So we have three groups to choose from. I'll show you more up close. This is like a painted geode of some sort, zebra calcite, and I believe this is a quartz. Again, I'll show you after we select the cards. So I'm going to draw cards for each pile here, for each group. Spirit, what does the upcoming week look like for group number one? what to expect the next week. Oops, I got some oil on this. <laughs> we have the card here, Snake. Interesting, from a totally different deck, the group number one was Snake yesterday. Went out and filming. Um, probably a video two to three days before this one, but <laughs> just a coincidence I felt called to share. Uh, so group number two, what can group number two expect this week? We have here child. Spirit, what can group number three expect this week? We have the star or star, I should say. So group number one, this geode here, very sparkly, mm -hmm. and your card is snake, number seven, group number two, there is some zebra calcite. And your card number 13, child. Group number three. And your card number 16, star. So pause the video if you need more time to choose. There will be timestamps and chapters below, and I will see you in your reading. Hi, group number one. Welcome to your reading. So let's take a look at your week ahead. So you chose this shiny geode here and the snake card, card number seven. So right away I'm seeing, it seems there might be something that is going to tempt you this week. Uh, this could be something that seems too good to be true. If it seems that way, Spirit's warning you that it likely is. Um, but also there could be some temptation to fall back into old patterns and behaviors. Perhaps um, there's someone in your life that you kind of had a toxic karmic type relationship with that might be coming back into the picture. You know what? I think um, later this week, if you're watching this in real time, Venus is going into retrograde. And a lot of times when Venus is in retrograde, things from our past, like past romantic relationships can come back in the picture. So there could be an ex that comes around out of nowhere. Um, and if you broke it off for a reason, Spirit's reminding you of that, you know, to remember 
the reasons behind that before you make a decision to see this person or talk to them again. Uh, also, this could be about you know other behavior. It doesn't have to be with uh, another person. This could be like falling back into bad habits, like with substances, um, negative thoughts, or anything like that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna obviously get more cards and see. But um, the snake could be a really deceptive energy, sneaky energy. It could be about desires. It also um, can represent ambition. In some cases, it can represent like career-driven people. But we're going to take a look and see. Uh, outside of the Norman meanings to um, the snake, this could be about shedding, you know, um, old ways of being, your old thoughts. Look, there's snakes on this. I forgot about that. <laughs> um, yeah, shedding old ways of being. And I feel like you've already done this. I feel like you've done some inner work. You've shed limiting beliefs, bad habits, bad relationships. And it seems like something's coming up this week that's going to tempt you to fall back into old ways. Like we are saying. And look at the snakes double here. Wow. Well, all right. Let's shuffle. Spirit, what is going on this week for group number one? It's funny. I just shuffled in my kick. I was scared by that. We do this all the time, Emmy. What is the main message this week you have for group number one? What will group number one be focused on this week? Ooh. Too many. I feel like this card wants to come out though. What is not a priority? What is a surprise coming this week? Something that group number one is blind to? What do you recommend group number one avoid this week? And what is your overall action and advice this week for group number one? Two sevens here, well, three sevens really, with the snake. On the bottom of the deck we have the queen of swords reverse. Okay, the main message, Seven of Cups reversed, and then the Queen of Swords reversed here for underlying energy. I feel like there's something here with not thinking logically, not being able to make a choice, like an indecisive energy. Clouded thinking. I feel like you've been working on something for a while, working on improving yourself, working on better habits, better life in general. And I feel like you're at a point where, you know, you've been doing a lot of the work in whatever sense that means to you, um, but you're not seeing the results you want quite yet. And I feel like you're so close to obtaining something, but there's this like feeling like, oh, like I've been doing all this, but nothing's working. Things aren't getting better. And then something's going to present itself to you to kind of make you go back to the way things were. But spirit wants you to keep up the work you've been doing, focusing on yourself, your health, your well-being, your job, your finances, whatever it is for you. Maybe it's all the above. Um, and not let like doubt creep in, not let impatience May, like ruin all the progress that you've had because it looks like there's something here with kind of focusing on what you don't have and like lack this week and you're not seeing you know you have the the manifestations you want you're not seeing the results you want and there might be this tendency just to like kind of think negatively about yourself and like is this even worth it like and then you're going to want to fall back into the way things were or into like 
like eating bad again, dating that same person again that's wrong for you, you know, like lowering your boundaries even though you just set higher ones with your family and other people. But Spirit really wants you to focus on what is right for you. Working on your skill set, your job, your, you know, your finances, your goals. Because I feel like what you don't see coming is you're about to make some strides in whatever it is you're working on. I feel like there's some new opportunity coming to you. Not an opportunity for temptation, you know, like an opportunity to like take a, a big leap in the right direction, like to, towards your goals, a new opportunity. But if you're focused on the past and what you don't have, there's something here with you might miss this. Or if you slip down, you know, a slippery slope of whatever it is, whatever temptation is, you might miss this new opportunity that's coming for you. And what to avoid, I really feel like for a lot of people, the snake energy, the temptation is about a specific person. This could be a past romantic relationship or a friendship or... And I feel like they're just like going to pop up again, like text you and like, hey, what's up? You know, like... I just get that with this magician here. And that's just the energy I'm getting. And this is what Spirit says to avoid this week. And look at, there's like these cards here. It's like, I know what I'm getting from it is like player energy, um, like risk taking, you know. Um, I feel like also Spirit's saying if you go back to this all the way of being, you're like jumping off a cliff, you know. It's not going to lead to good results like you could get hurt or you know likely more mentally hopefully not physically or anything like that but just be careful about who you let in and you'll know you know um if this is resonating you'll know who this person is or these behaviors who they are and also the magician can um, be about manifestation you know and i feel like there's something here with like you're not seeing the manifestation the goals the end results that you wanted yet but spirit doesn't want you to give up because I feel like you're so close. And sometimes the universe kind of tests us um, before we get our manifestation. Like, are you sure you're, all, you know, ready for this new this new manifestation to come in? We're gonna tangle, like, dangle a little temptation in front of you to make sure. I, the universe does test you. I, I have noticed this myself. Whenever I feel like I'm really making strides, there'll be like a temptation that comes in, like someone will message me from the past, like we've been talking about, you know. Um, again, this is a general reading, so what this temptation is is going to be different for everyone. But Spirit wants you to, to stay focused. Don't let this thing or person cloud your judgment and make you make decisions that you'll later on regret. And if you keep focusing on, you know, what goal your goals are and not focusing on the past or regrets or impatience or you know not feeling satisfied like remember why you made these changes in the first place you know and and be proud of yourself because your spirit guides are very proud of you group number one and seven 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 we have three sevens here that's good luck maybe you know, we are in July. We just had the 7-7 seven, seven portal. Maybe you set some goals then. Or it could have been at any time, you know. But we're also talking about a seven-day period. So I think there's a lot of synchronicities here. If these add up. So, hmm. so, yeah, keep up the good work. You've been doing really well. And I feel like you're going to get rewarded for this and you're mastering some skill. You're like mastering the habits. Like, you know, it takes, what do they say? How many weeks to build habits? I feel like they used to say it was like three or four weeks, but I feel like they said now it's like five. I don't know, whatever it is, you know, it takes time to build habits. And I feel like you're really close to like being really solid in your routines and your habits and also to see the results you want from all the hard effort you put in. So keep up the good work. You definitely will be rewarded. I just feel like there's a little test going on this week. Excuse me. What is going on for group number one this week?
what is going on for group number one this week? Oh, something flipped over. Oh, beware of self-delusion. Yes. There's something here with like thinking like, oh, well, this isn't working out anyways, or they're just, you know, it'll be fine if I hang out with them or do this one time or whatever it is, you know. I think this is spirit just confirming everything we've been talking about. Beware. Getting like snake energy from that. There's some self-delusion that's kind of clouding your mind this week, but if you can get past that and keep working and focus, focusing, your manifestations and new opportunities are coming for you. What's going on for group number one this week? This card wants to come out. Compliments from an admirer. Yep. You guys, I really feel like there's going to be contact from an ex or someone you had a situation ship with, or, you know, and they're going to see that you're doing well. And they're going to like come into your DMs or whatever and be like, oh, you're looking great. You know, and like, it's going to make you feel good. And it's going to be like, oh, maybe they've changed. You know, whatever it is. I just feel like spirit's really warning you. Of course you have free will and you can do whatever you want, group number one. I just feel like if you do certain things, maybe it'll, you know, push back the progress of whatever you've been working on. But of course you can do whatever it is you want, but spirit's just warning you that this might not be in your highest interest. And you are on the road to success. You're climbing up. You're so close to reaching your goal. So don't let temptation get in the way of success because you are so close. And also the snake, like I was saying, could have to do with career ambition. So this could, and with the three of pentacles here is like focusing on work and like mastering your skills and stuff. So there could be like maybe a promotion or a new opportunity for a project or more money coming in. Whatever you're working on it is you're so close to reaching the top here, This you know, to getting to the where you want to be and you know I feel like soon after this week it's likely to happen so keep up the great work you seem like you're doing really awesome and have really excelled in multiple areas in your life group number one so go you but that concludes your reading I hope you found this helpful I hope it resonated uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already like this video leave a comment uh, email me if you're interested in a private reading. And you know what? Go and have an amazing week, group number one. You deserve it. I love you so much, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Hello, group number two. Welcome to your reading. You chose the zebra calcite and card number 13, child. So if you have children, your children could be a big part of your week ahead. But for most people, this is about a new beginning, new opportunities, Feeling like a child again, feeling playful, joyful. Zebra calcite is really good uh, for lifting your mood. So I feel like for a lot of people, there could just be this like youthful, playful, positive energy that you're around this week or you're experiencing. This can also really help balance things out if your emotions have been tough lately. If you have a child that's been going through a rough time, especially emotionally, uh, this could be showing that things improve this week. We're going to use a tarot and see what new beginnings or opportunities are coming for a lot of you too, but there is some new beginning I'm sensing for a lot of you. Okay, Spirit, what is going on for group number two this week? What's going on for group number two this week? Oh, I can see one of my, my hair is stuck. <laughs> Strand of hair. Oh. Does anyone else have long hair out there? Is your hair everywhere? I swear I shed more than my cat does. <laughs> but anyway, Spirit, what is going on for group number two this week? What is the main message? What is the main thing going on for group number two this week? Nine of Pentacles. I like that energy. What is group number two focused on this week? 
What is group number two focused on this week? The Knight of Cups reversed. What is not a priority for group number two this week? Six of Cups. That's interesting. Uh, what is a surprise coming this week for group number two? What is a surprise, something that they don't see coming? The Hanged Man reverse. What do you recommend group number two avoid this week? Two swords reversed. What is your overall action and advice for group number two? Judgment reversed. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords reversed. Hmm. I feel like there is some thought, some idea you have that you want to bring into existence that you think will make you really happy and fulfilled, financially independent. There's something here with maybe thinking negatively or thinking like you could never do it or I don't have enough time because of the children, because of X, Y, and Z. Um, you could have some self-limiting beliefs based on past experiences, but there's some negative thoughts or some belief that is stopping you from a new beginning that is potentially occurring this week. Something that you really enjoy doing, something that brings you like so much happiness, can bring you financial independence. This can be an idea you have to bring forth more money you could also be really wanting more independence. Maybe your family has been taking up a lot of your time or other duties and stuff like that. And I feel like Spirit's really calling you to get out of your routine this week. I feel like you're, you are doing that. I feel like things have been the same old, same old, day after day type thing. And it's really kind of getting to you this week. So you are like, you know what? I'm going to like do something different, switch up my routine, do something more fun, have like, you know, make my inner child so happy <laughs> and not focus so much on hardships or negative emotions or anything like that. I feel like you've been stuck in the same perspective with these same limiting beliefs that like, I can't do this because of whatever, you know, because I have kids, because I have these responsibilities, because of the bills, what, you know, whatever we tell ourselves whatever excuses you're telling yourself to not go after a new dream or an idea or to just do some things different. I just feel like this week is breaking out of that, that mold because you don't want to, you know, I feel like there's been boredom maybe. So spirit wants you to like play this week, do something fun. What do you enjoy doing? Do you like crafting or do you like dancing? <laughs> what is it? You know, anything you enjoy doing, something creative. You could have experienced like a lack of creativity lately or just not putting in the time to follow your creative pursuits. And I feel like this is the week to explore them. This is the week to not let excuses or whatever, you know, past experiences stop you from doing what you want. With the Six of Cups here is what's not a priority. Um, this could be focusing on the past. Maybe you've been really living in the past or letting the past limit you now. Like maybe there's, you know, some things happened before and maybe like something when, when you were a child, for example, maybe someone told you you suck at art or you're not creative or you, you could never do a creative job that doesn't produce money, you know, things like that. And it kind of stuck with you and, and you have this limiting belief about it. And now I feel like you're being called by spirit this week to explore that. What is a hobby you love? What is something you enjoy doing? And spend some time doing it. Don't let these beliefs hinder you. And, you know, I feel like you need to break out a routine. And that's what you're being called to do so this week. And it's going to, like, really lessen your stress load. It's going to bring more childlike joy into your life. It's going to make you feel really happy. And this is something you, like, can create and share with the world. 
whatever this is, but this is like really focusing on your independence this week, focusing on what your hobbies are and what makes you happy. It's not about the kids or the, like, you know, we were saying that first. <laughs> um, I really feel like it's not about the past. It's not about your family and not saying they don't matter, you know, but it's the week of embracing what you like to do, what you enjoy. There could be a lot of energy that's been pa placed on a past relationship that could be like holding you back or you can have some limiting thoughts about. Um, this could be someone you used to be married to or an uh, old family, like or a family member or an old friend from the past that really could have emotionally upset you in some way that st like triggered this limiting belief about whatever it is for you. Um, that stopped you from doing something that your inner child really loves, what you love doing. It could be something with like feeling like you have to be dependent on someone else for financial success. But really, I feel like Spirit's calling you to break free of the, this perspective and realize that you are capable of doing anything by yourself. You don't need to depend on other people. You know, maybe some other people depend on you like kids or something, but to be a good example and follow your dreams and have fun, you know, like that energy, this lighthearted energy is coming this week. I feel like you're getting a sense of calm. Some people in this group, you could have felt really defeated lately and worried about an outcome to something. And I feel like Spirit's calling you to focus on the positive and the future and be in the present moment and not focus so much on the past. And there will be a positive outcome. You are going to be feeling less stressed this week, happier, more childlike. But Spirit's calling you to release, like, you know, these beliefs you've had. And also to get out of your routine and do things differently. Maybe you feel defeated and things aren't working out. It's because you've been doing the same thing for a long time now. Maybe you have the same routine and all this stuff. And you're like, why am I not getting different results? It's time to switch things up. Try things differently. See things from a new perspective. And you're going to be feeling pretty good about that once you do so. Get out of your head and get more embodied and live in the present moment and focus on what you enjoy. Have a little bit more fun. It's going to do you wonders. And, you know, not so much focused on the past. And maybe you have been doing a lot of inner child healing. Maybe you've been doing a lot of this inner work, doing all the shadow work, doing all the things. And this is the week where, you know, you, you don't need to focus so much on the healing and just enjoy the present moment. Like, I feel like you've done a lot of healing. And now it's time to, like, come out of that and be more in the phase of, like, living your life in the present. Because I feel like you've done a lot of that already and you're ready for the next phase of life. And I feel like you've done all this healing, so now you're going to be feeling lighter, happier, more joy, less stress. Because you've done the inner work. You're going to be feeling more free. And that's beautiful, group number two. But yeah, sometimes when people do shadow work, we do shadow work and we get really into it, sometimes it's hard to get out. We just like keep wanting to dig, keep wanting to find more things. I feel like Spirit's really calling you to come out of that energy and like you've done so much healing work and to enjoy yourself now. Like you've gone through the spiritual awakenings. I feel like the darkness soul is over and now you're going into like embodying all that you learned and letting go of what no longer serves you. And now you're ready to embrace life with this new perspective and see all the blessings that are around you. And all of a sudden you're going to like have all these good things gravitate towards you because you're like vibrating higher now. Spirit, what's going on with group number two this week? What's going on with group number two this week? Oh, yep. I had a feeling something about the spiritual journey would come up. Okay, but elephant. A long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. Yeah, you're ready to... You've gone through this spiritual journey. Like we were literally just saying. And now you're wiser and able to implement what you learned. You're moving out of that phase of doing all the work and now you're like implementing it you're wiser and now you're able to move and navigate through the world like in a lighter more aligned happier way what's going on with group number two this week problems to be resolved 
Yes, less stress. There's something, I feel like you're seeing things from a new perspective now. And I feel like maybe you realize your perspective before was what was limiting you and, and stopping you from seeing the answer. So I feel like you're getting clarity on how to move forward with your life. This green card wants to come through. Wealth, I'm not surprised. There's more money coming into your life. Maybe you've had a financial issue you've been struggling with. I feel like you're moving into a phase, like, you know, you're getting new ideas, you're getting a new outlook, a new perspective on how to resolve these issues, how to bring forth more abundance. Because you've gone through a lot and you've learned a lot and now you are able to resolve your issues and move forward and accumulate wealth. Wow. And the bottom one. Hearts on the bottom, love, deep affection, caring. Yes, you're coming out of this phase feeling love, like pure, like innocent love, child. You know, you're feel, you're, you've gone through a lot of inner work. I can tell you're in order too. You've done a lot. You've healed a lot. You've gone through a lot in your life, and now you're you're coming out of it. You're coming out of the hard times. You you know, and you're like loving yourself more. You're loving people around you. You're loving life more. And this new perspective is really shifting, you know, everything for you moving forward. You're seeing the world in the lens of love, and that is beautiful. And once you do that, you open your heart, and now all of a sudden, all these opportunities, all this wealth is going to be coming into your life. Amazing. That concludes your reading, group number two. I hope this resonated and was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, um, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave a comment. You gotta let me know how your week goes. It looks like it's a big shift for you, which is awesome. <laughs> uh, my email's in the description if you would like to set up a private reading with me or have any questions about that. But I'm truly so grateful you're here. I hope you have the best week, a great week, a beautiful one, group number two. Thank you for being here. I'm so grateful for you, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Hello, and welcome to your reading, group number three. We're going to take a look at your week ahead. I'm not going to lie. It seems like it's going to be a good one. You chose star, <laughs> number 16, and this quartz here. I think this is clear quartz. I'm not positive, but it is clear and this, with the star card here you're getting clarity on something. I feel like you're, things are just like clicking and the star card represents like hope, wish fulfillment, clarity, success. So I feel like there's some wish fulfillment coming. I feel like you're getting clarity on how to obtain your manifestations. Uh, you're seeing clarity in the path ahead. Yeah, with the star too, you know, you see that in the sky, it like leads you like the North Star. I feel like you're, you're falling in line with your purpose. Things are clicking. You're able to see the way forward. This is exciting energy. Of course, we're going to get more information with the tarot here. Spirit, what is going on for group number three this week? What is going on with for group number three this week? Thank you. What is the main thing going on this week for group number three? Okay, goals. Wish fulfillment could have to do with um, getting a new job, getting a raise, bringing forth more money, but we're going to get more cards. Abundance. What is group number three focused on this week? Page of Swords. What is not a priority this week? Oh, okay. <laughs> what is something, what the root number three is blind to? What's the surprise occurring this week? Strength reverse. What do you recommend group number three avoid this week? What is your overall action and advice this week for group number three? Justice. Ooh, bottom of the deck, we have Ace of Swords upright. Ace of Swords, clarity, truth, a new idea, new inspiration. There is some divine inspiration coming for you. Like this divine guidance, it's like handing you this idea that's going to bring you forth Victory, success. This is a victory card here. That crown there. 
You're getting some inspiration from the divine, from your higher self. You're getting clarity on how to move forward on your path and manifest and achieve your goals. You're overcoming some strength or like something that was holding you back. I feel like you're, you're being able to identify this week what some weaknesses in your life are, like what's maybe some limiting beliefs, for example. Uh, there could be some relationships in your life you realize have been hindering your success. Specifically with some people, this could be a mother or a maternal figure or a woman in your life. It doesn't have to be. This is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. But this week, you are focused on what your purpose is. There's something that is inspiring you to stay focused, to work on your dreams and what it is you want to manifest, what life you want to live, what money you want to make, what, you know, there is something here with, with the Ace of Swords and then the Page of Swords. These are both beginnings in this suit. You're like mastering some skill. You're really learning something new or deepening your knowledge on something. If you, I feel like you may have been going through a hard time lately. There could have been people, like we were talking about that person, that maybe did you wrong in some way. Maybe there was problems, maybe issues with health or addictions or, you know, bad patterns, bad behaviors, bad, um, what am I trying to say right now? Habits and stuff like that. Yeah, I think I said that right. But there's, an, you know, I feel like you're, things are, you've been working hard on yourself. You've been making positive changes. And I feel like karma is coming around to really balance things out in your life. You know, I feel like you're coming out of a hard time and now more positive things are coming to you. You're definitely getting some inspiration and clarity. Something here with avoiding anything that clouds your judgment. Making sure you're sleeping enough, eating right, not eating processed junk, you know, and all of that. Um, making sure your mind is clear, like meditation might be really helpful. Because I feel like you're getting some inspiration from the divine with the star card here and the ace of swords in the bottom. That's going to really help you move forward. Focused attention this week. Yeah, you're really focused on achieving your goals. There's someone that might be really emotional around you. That might be hindering your progress. That might be good to like set some boundaries with. Separate from at least this week to really focus on what it is you're trying to obtain. Again, this could be we have the Queen of Cups reversed for what to avoid and then what's not a priority, the Empress. This is some other energy. And with the Queen of Cups reversed, this could be your energy too to avoid letting negative emotions overtake you, to avoid letting fear, um, just not letting yeah your emotions overtake you. And, to make, and with the Strength card reversed here too, maybe make sure you have some go-to things like maybe if you start to feel some negative things come up like maybe your go-to could be like breath work taking a walk outside getting clear-headed in whatever way and not letting that overcome you and also not letting someone else drain your energy and take that away from you you know um, but you're really focused on your work whatever it is you do in this world and I feel like you're getting this focus you're getting and the time you're putting into the work or whatever it is you do is going to bring forth abundance. We have the Eight of Pentacles here. The next card is the Nine of Pentacles. That's the card of wealth. This is focus work. Some people could be getting an apprenticeship or um, a new job. With the page here next to the Eight of Pentacles, this something's going to be um, an apprenticeship or a new job. And maybe some people, this could be like in the legal system, maybe um, a job where you work on like social justice and help for like, you know, other people, you really use your mind. You could be teaching something, bringing balance into other people's lives, harmony. We've got Libra energy here, Leo, 
Taurus. Yeah, Libra we have three times here. And then we also have um, water signs too, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius. But overall, this is a week of focusing on your goals and your dreams. And if you focus on that and don't let other people in their energy drain you and take you away from your work, you are going to have some wish fulfillment, get closer to achieving your dreams at least, because we're talking about one week here, but you could be achieving it if you focus your attention on it. And I feel like your life is starting to become more balanced. You're really close to a victory here. So don't let limiting beliefs stop you. Don't let other people. Make sure you're focusing and don't let anything. Like the strength reversed here, this is, could be, you know, just bad habits resurfacing or, or self-doubt. You know, you are so capable of achieving something. You're so close. Yeah, I'm curious. There's, there's something with this mother energy. Maybe there's a mother wound here um, or abandonment wound from the past that you could have been working on or that could somehow relate to what you're working on now. But I feel like if that's the case, you're overcoming this and you're like realizing that you are worthy of success, you are worthy of love, you are worthy of abundance and you're not letting that hold you back anymore. And now you know, that you're able to do that. You're able to like focus more and bring forth more abundance because you realize that you are deserving of it. And you're not living so much in the past or worried about the past or letting the past dictate your right now and here, you know. You're really sharp right now. You're full of really great ideas. So make sure you're like jotting them down working on them, free yourself from distractions, because there's something really wonderful and positive coming from this work you're doing this week. Mm -hmm. Some beautiful divine inspirations coming. Clarity. I feel like you're really finding your purpose. And that's awesome because it's something that takes a long time to really figure out what our purpose is. We have to go through a lot of trial and error, you know, um, but I feel like you're finding what feels right to you. It feels good. And when you feel that you go, you know, go with it. Uh, and when you do that, there's a, a great path ahead for you. I feel like what you're doing or will be doing is really going to help a lot of people. So thank you. <laughs> uh, what is going on with group number three this week? Lobster, financial pinch. When I think of lobsters, I think of people that are like wealthy, eat them, right? I don't know. But financial pinch, maybe that... There has been like a little bit of a financial struggle lately, but I feel like you're really focused. Like what you're doing, the main thing you're doing this week is like focusing on either your field of study or your field of work. And what you're doing this week is going to bring you forth more finances. So I feel like there's something you're like just focusing on that. And when you focus on that and work, you know, you're going to bring forth abundance. Just don't let negative thoughts or the past hinder you from your focus. It's really coming through a lot here. What's going on? Oh. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. Oh, it's a caterpillar. You're about to go in your little chrysalis and then break free and be a beautiful butterfly. There's about to be a big metamorphosis in your life. What? I feel like you've been this caterpillar just like going around. You're like, is this it? Is this all my life is? And you don't even realize the beauty that's coming, group number three. So keep up the hard work. I know it's really hard to build that chrysalis, and it can be even painful for the caterpillars, I've heard. Um, but once they break free, they're free. I feel like you're about to be financially free. You're about to have such a beautiful life. You know, you're just in the phase of working, you know, 
working out the details, going like learning what you want, you know, um, putting in the time and the effort, like, but things are going to pay off and all the work you're doing right now is going to lead to you becoming that beautiful butterfly. So don't forget that, you know, it won't always be this way. The work you're putting in now is going to lead to outcomes later. Rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Yes, there is. Okay, this is the third, or like, I don't know what third time, but this isn't coming back to what I was seeing earlier with distancing yourself from someone. Again, for a lot of people, or some people, it could be a maternal type figure, um, a feminine. But whoever it is, there's someone that is taking you away from your purpose, from your focus. You know, they could be talking down to you, like making you think you can't achieve whatever it is you're going after. There's someone you should not cross. There's someone to, you, I feel like if you're, this is really resonating with you, this reading and everything, like you probably know who this is. Maybe it's multiple people. But I think it's really important to set boundaries, not let people interfere with your dreams. And, you know, you don't have to live your mom or dad's dreams. You don't have to do what society tells you to do. You are a unique butterfly. You know, you're a unique being, a unique, beautiful soul here to do something special, you know, and you're really meant to shine bright group number three, but it doesn't mean you have to shine bright in the way you were told you have to, you know, you're, you're unique and you're definitely going to be shining bright and bringing some beautiful things into this world. So you don't need to let anyone else get in your head and tell you what to do, what not to do. It really does seem like maybe you're breaking free of this path your parents wanted for you, your partner, your whoever, you know, and they might be like, well, how will you ever make money doing that? Blah, blah, you know? And I think they, they probably have, like, good intention when they're saying that. But, you know, you do what you feel is right. Because you're following your North Star, your North Node. Like, you know, you're you're really being divinely inspired to do something that's different. Like, outside the box, different from what other people do. And that's fine. You know? You will be successful. Just don't let other people get in the way of your path. And there's someone to just, you know, set some boundaries with. And just focus on what you're working on this week and you'll be fine. You know, change is coming. You're on the right path, group number three. That concludes your reading. Wow, I really liked this one. Um, thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful and resonated for you. If it did, um, please be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video, leave a comment. Uh, email me if you're interested in a private reading, but truly I'm so grateful you are here. I love you so much. I hope you have a great week and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye group number three.